Hi, my name is Brittany and I'm at one of the warehouses for Rugman.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to fold a rug and tips for storing it. Let's get started. Let's start with the first method of folding, which is called half a fold. To fold the rug in half, we're just going to take one corner on the end of the rug and flip it over. Your rug should look like this and you should have one inch of the bottom sticking out. Now we're going to fold a third of it, the rug. You want to make sure this part of the rug is flat and it lines up with the rest of the rug. If you have an older carpet, you don't want to put too much pressure on this part because it could wear the carpet out. We're going to start with the first fold and then begin rolling the rest. And that's how you fold an 8x10 rug. It becomes so small and it becomes so easy to store. Now that I've shown you the regular way of folding a rug, I'm going to show you how to do the multi-fold, which makes the carpet even smaller and even more easier for storing away. We're going to do the same thing, except we're going to fold a third of the rug. That's how you do the multi-fold method, which makes the carpet even smaller and it takes up less room in your storage. The benefits of folding the rug the way I showed you is it actually takes up less room and it doesn't wear out the rug. You want to take your rug out of the darkness every six months or so just to make sure it doesn't collect moth and moisture, which can actually damage and wear out the rug. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Remember to like our video, share it with anybody you know, and subscribe to see more.